All right. So you rented this sand pot and you have no idea how to use it. Or you're a friend of mine and you called me and you got one of these and you don't know how to use it. So I'm going to show you real quick how to use this. I'm going to explain to you really fast how it works. Sand goes in there. Air goes in here. Air compressor delivers the sand or the air into here. Goes into this part. Pressurizes here. Pressurizes this pot. The air travels through this hose and heads down that way. Down this hose, carrying the sand with it, coming to flying out this end, and you're sandblasting. That's the basics, all right? Sounds simple, not always that simple, but we're gonna go over a few of the basics right now. You rented this, you just want a quickie on the job. I'm on the job, actually, I just got back from the job. I'm home for the night. I thought I'd make this for you guys and for my friends out there um, that always want to know how this thing works. So anyways, first of all, we're going to start with what is in this thing? What's in it? Well, I just ran it. I just bought it. I just something. What the heck is in it? Well, let's see. Right now, there is sand okay looks like 60 I'm pretty sure it's 60 number 60 silica sand cool okay well we know that that's in there that's great but we don't know what else is in there pepper tree leaves all kinds of other stuff so first thing I would do is empty this sucker okay Second thing is how to get it out, all right? Well, on this side over here, let me turn this around. This thing is full of 300 pounds of sand, all right? I know, I breathe like a fat person. That wasn't nice. <laughs> I breathe like a skinny person. There. Now, this thing is in here, right? You're gonna go, well, I can't get it out because it's full of sand. Unscrew that so you don't jack up the nut. Give it a couple of hits. Get that thing moving around to where you got some room to deal with. Because you, what you got to do is get it off to one angle. Right now, this thing is so full of sand. So, let's get the sand out of there. There we go. Now we got her moving. All right. So, there you have it. That thing had a lot of sand in it. Yeah, nobody said it was easy. I mean, I could stand, I could wait, it would be a lot easier, but I'm trying to hurry for you guys, so. I'm trying to get this piece out so you can see what it looks like. There we go. See, as it starts to get more empty, much easier to deal with, okay? It's gotta go in like right exactly perfect. Crazy, there it is. All right. Gasket, just a piece of rubber. If you lose it, go get a mud flap, cut a new one. Or if it doesn't have one, it's leaking. Cut a new one. Anyways, there you go. That's that process. The nuts under there. You'll find it. Bring a magnet with you. Air hook up. Air hook up's over there. 
things much easier to manhandle now that I got all that doggone sand out of there. Here's your air hookup right here, okay? So you got your air coming in off your air compressor. It's going to go in right here. This is going to pressurize this, okay? This is run by a dead man, which is this unit. These plug together, okay? This is your on-off safety switch. You can tell how much I use it because I work for myself. If I was around OSHA, you bet your butt you better have one of these. You'll be in trouble. Anyways, that's your on-off. That energizes this, plugs this, pushes the cork up, pressurizes this, and starts shooting sand. Anyways, get your air compressor, you hook your air up here. Now, you got the sand out. You got your air hooked up. Now we got to get new sand in. Where do we get it? Home Depot. You can get dry sand. It's got to be dry like this. Okay. If you put any amount of moisture to that. Okay. See that? That's a huge deal because watch. See how this is going? This is all going through the sand pot real great, right? That's your sand pot valve. And then it just stops and you're like, what the heck? Well, this is what the inside of your sand pot looks like on the bottom. Okay? Right in that little cone on the bottom right there. Because it's got moisture, water. Do not want that. That is really, really bad. So you want to get dry sand. Home Depot, Lowe's, building material stores have it. Pretty, you know, tell them you're doing sandblasting. Some states, like Texas, they got some black, black magic. I don't know what it is, but they got cool stuff. Anyways, it has to be dried. It has to be able to flow to a cone. If you drill a hole and it all flows through there, you could probably sandblast with it. Anyways, got the air hooked up. You went down to Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever you got. Bought your material. Larry's. That's my boy over here. Larry's uh, material in uh, Corona. Larry's. That's where I get my stuff. Been going there for 20 years, man. Anyways, put your sand in. Don't fill it all the way up, for God's sakes. Turn this thing on. Put a little bit in there. Turn this thing on and get it going. Get some air flowing through here. Make sure everything is clear. And start turning up your valve till you start getting some sand coming through. Once you got that going and you got it running pretty clean, um, you got to adjust your sand. Sorry, it's my notes over there. You want to adjust your sand. That, this is your adjustment down here. You might have an uh, adjustment like this. This is a red knob. Probably can't even hardly see it. Let's see if I can turn. There you go. Anyways, it's just like a dial. So open it up. More sand comes out. Close it up. This is a really old school valve, this one here, um, this thing. Basically, here's the deal, on, off, boom, made by Telco, here's the inside. Anyways, that's on, that's on, that's wide open, that's closed. So, there you go. Anyways, that's an old one. So you adjust your sand. You want more air than sand, okay? It's like shooting a gun. You want a lot of gunpowder, little tiny bullets are gonna go really far and really fast. That's what you want. You want a lot of air and you wanna get this thing flowing, running really smooth so this sounds really clean and just real even on the sound, okay? You don't want no like that choppy noise. That's called chugging. It's chugging. So the, what's happening is the sand inside there is bumping each other. And it's slowing down. It's coming out of the end. It's going eh, 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 and you're wasting stuff. So you want it coming out of there as fast and as smooth, as clean, as efficient as possible. You're going to just waste a ton of sand. 
If you have like this much to do, who cares? Crank this thing up, turn that thing on and get it done. Sweep up that 40 or $50 in sand you just wasted and move on with your life. But if you're trying to get a job done and save some money, do it efficiently. You're going to have to spend a little time, adjust your sand, adjust your air. This here is a choke, okay? This will shut off the air to the bottom of the sand pot. So when you put your air compressor to this, this is getting energized. This here is your valve. When you turn that on, it energizes this, which takes then this cork and it hits in there and seals on this donut right here. Okay, you wanna see the donut? Come on, big boy, check the donut. This is the donut, okay? This right here, inside of here. Okay, this is the cork. So this cork pops up, hits against this donut. If there's sand in between there, it'll, it'll push it out of the way. If sand's piled up here, no big deal. Boom, it'll blow a little sand up. Do not have your finger in here ever. Goodbye. Anyways, that's that. That cork pops up. This thing is now pressurized and you are ready to sandblast. Okay, make sure I got you guys back in focus here. There we are. All right, we're about 10, 10 minutes in, so let's wrap this up because you guys are on the job and it's hot out. And it was hot today, man. So in the heat, this thing's gonna run wonderful. Your, crest, your compressor ain't, cause it's gonna be pumping air through here like gangbusters. So your compressor is gonna be dying over there. You might get a hose on it. But this thing, it runs great in the heat cause there's no moisture issues in the rain and when it's cloudy out and you compress air, you have moisture issues. And that sucks. So that's why I used to live in Oregon, but if I lived in Oregon now, I could not do sandblasting for most of the year because I know how that place is. Uh, Eugene, Oregon, anyways. But uh, adjusting the sand. Now, holding this hose. Now, okay, so everybody's got their different ideas. Some of these guys, I, dude, this is a bad idea. I don't care if OSHA, if your boss, if anybody told you to hold this holes like this. Take it from a guy who has been holding hoses since, sandblast hoses, since 1994, okay? You do not want this hose to blow when you're holding on it like this. If I'm holding this hose and this thing blows up right here, I have no control over what's going to happen, just in my opinion. So, I like to hold this hose right here, okay? I personally like to hold it here because I can hold this thing between my legs and stop it. And I could fight this thing off if I wanted to. But I don't want this to be this close to my face ever. So if you're holding this hose, do yourself a favor. Don't blast yourself. That's what your boss is gonna tell you. Second of all, don't get this freaking thing near your face at all. Keep enough hose in front of you that if something was to happen, all you gotta deal with is a blown rubber hose. You don't wanna deal with nozzles and dead mans and switches. This thing goes here, I mean, Hold this thing out there. Get control of it. You are the guy holding this hose. You could kill somebody with this. So be careful. That's the number one thing. We can always buy more sand. We can always fix the equipment. We can always dial things in. But the number one thing I wanna stress is be careful because you can jack yourself up. This is no toy okay so anyways there's my few little quick pointers on how to get this going 
A um, couple things I can think of. If you did start this and there's and you're just blowing air and you have no sand, shut this off completely. That's going to stop your air going to the bottom. It's going to just push that sand. That hurt. Push that sand right out of the bottom of that thing and down this hose. And it's going to start. When you feel the sand come, if you got 20 feet of hose, you got 20 feet of sand right there. That's probably about a whole bag. Okay, a lot of guys, there's no uh, valve on this thing. So, whichever way that the bolt is slit, if it runs the way of the hose, it's open. If it runs crossways on a valve, this way is closed. This way would be open. This valve, this is closed right now. Okay, see how it's that way? So down there, now it's wide open. Now we got air flowing again. Hopefully we got a little more pressure on top than we do on bottom. That'll keep it pushing down real nice. Nice, efficient flow. Don't blast yourself. And that's all I can think of telling you right now. Good luck on the job today, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll tell you what, if you liked what you see, click the like. If you want to follow along, get more tips and pointers. I'm planning on doing a lot more stuff and try to help you guys out because I'm getting old and I'm going to be retiring soon. So anyways, that's it. Don't blast yourself. The five things that you need to think about are what's in it, how to get it out, clean it out, hook that air up, get it going, what to use, and where to get the sand. Lowe's, Home Depot, Material Yards, real easy, but it's gotta be dry. Adjusting the sand, adjust it, try to get it even so it's a smooth, crisp sound like cooking an egg or welding or something like that, okay? Um, and holding the hose. Hold that thing safely out there and remember, you're the guy holding that hose. Not your boss. Not anybody else. And you can make the decision to put that thing down when you don't think it's safe. So you reserve that right. I'm just letting you know. Anyways, thanks for watching.